What is going on, everybody? I am about to bake some chicken in the oven, making a big dinner. I can't wait. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting hungry. Let's try to make a, a couple more videos if God wants to. This video is called Practicing Your Daily Spiritual Warfare, Part 3, Bad Thoughts. I had a Christian friend. We were friends for, for, for a long time. But he would get these bad thoughts about me. And I tried to share with him. I tried to teach him what God taught me. I said, brother, of course you're getting bad thoughts about me. This is a normal demonic attack. You see, a very, very normal demonic attack is to give us bad thoughts about one another. And if you sit there feeding those bad thoughts about me, about your dad, about your boss, about your friends, you're going to get into all kinds of demonic trouble. We're not supposed to feed those bad thoughts. But this brother would get bad thoughts about this person. This brother would get bad thoughts about that person. This brother would get bad thoughts about me and he would feed them and feed them and it becomes a really big problem when you do that. One of the main ways we practice our spiritual warfare every day is getting rid of the bad thoughts of one another. You have to get rid of those bad thoughts as fast as you can. And if you do that, you're practicing your spiritual warfare. And this is exactly what God wants you to do. This is what God wants you to practice. I remember a couple months ago, I was actually told in the spirit realm that this brother of mine was thinking bad thoughts about me. Now, I knew he was under attack. I'm not saying he was doing it in an evil way. I'm not saying he was purposely thinking and planning evil about me. No, no, no. He was under demonic attack. He was feeding the bad thoughts. And I was told in the spirit realm that he's doing this about me. I tried to warn him again. I warned him for I warned him for years. I tried to warn him again. You can't do that. I said, brother, if you feed those bad thoughts, you're going to lose every girlfriend you get. If you feed those bad thoughts about your boss, you're going to lose every job you get. If you feed those bad thoughts about your friends, you're going to lose every friend you get. I warned him, if you feed those bad thoughts about your family members, you're going to, you, you might, you might possibly even lose a family member. I told him, if you feed those bad thoughts about me, we're going to lose our friendship very shortly. And that's exactly what happened. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that is exactly what happened. We lost our friendship. One of the big, big ways that you practice your spiritual warfare every day is by refusing the bad thoughts towards other people. This happens almost every day to us. And we have to get rid of those bad thoughts as fast as we can and practice our spiritual warfare. This is one of the big, big ways that God has us practice by giving us those bad thoughts to practice against. The bad thoughts come to us about each other so we can, rep so we can practice refusing them loving one another, thinking good thoughts, thinking loving thoughts, practicing love, practicing caring, practicing compassion.
That's why they're coming to us, so we can practice our spiritual warfare. But if you feed the bad thoughts over and over again, not only are you not practicing your spiritual warfare, but you're going to lose your fiancé. You're going to lose your wife or husband if you keep feeding those bad thoughts. Oh, yes, you will. You're going to lose every job you get. You're going to lose your Christian friends. And if you keep feeding the bad thoughts about me, we're going to lose our friendship too. That's how devastating it is to feed those bad demonic thoughts. It's devastating. It'll destroy your life, in fact. It'll take you down to the depths of hell and destroy your life. All right. Let's practice our daily spiritual warfare and say no to the bad thoughts about one another. Amen to that.